while we are starting off the video for Tuesday, August 18th, what's on my mind? <laughs> at 9.30 in the morning, uh, the scooter is all charged and ready to go. Uh, I'll probably be using it tonight to go to my parents' house. I ended up talking about uh, Allie from uh, Yaoi Vlogs. It depends on how far you people tend to move away. She's moving far away to California. Uh, I moved out of my parents' house um, oh, many years ago. And I'm about 10 minutes away. So hopping on my, sco hopping on my scooter and go getting down there is, is no big deal. So <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Uh, anyways, uh, uh, I got everything kind of fixed up. Um, everything's sort of ready to go. Uh, I'm leaving it on the charger till 6 o'clock in the evening. That's when I do leave. And I've been, I moved over to It's Our Life. The, those are the riches. And that's what it's called. It's Our Life. Uh, they didn't have anything, but their two vlo young vloggers, Capri and Evie, did. Evie's the teenager, and uh, uh, Capri is the tween. So uh, I watched Evie's first, and then I watched Capri's. They're both vlogging. Uh, their trip to Disney World. They're in Florida. And it's, it, it, it's, this is what I say about vlogs. Vlogs is about personality, about the point of view. Two different people, you would think they're vlogging the same thing, it's going to be the same thing, but it's not because you have two totally different perspectives. Evie did the adult more, the more adult sort of teenager thing where she narrated everything. It was the vlog vlogging style. We went and did this. We went and did that. Capri was able to capture for a large chunk of it a very good called documentary style uh, type of filming where the narration was very, she, uh, very minimal. She allowed the footage, the things she's captured to tell the story where you didn't actually need the narration on top of it. So in other words, if you get enough footage of of people interacting, of, of uh, she got a lot of her brother, her, her brother uh, Hampton Bones uh, interact. That was enough, you know. <laughs> she didn't need to narrate that, and she didn't. She allowed the reactions, the 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 things that were going on to tell the story. There didn't need to be a sort of an interrupt or an overview of what was going on because that was it was obvious what was going on, and so she allowed. The video itself, and, and she had good called presence of uh, cinematography, uh, where she allowed the story that was in the frame to tell the story. She didn't have to sort of rehash it and stuff like that, or, or, or she didn't have to rehash it, didn't have to retell it, or voice over it. You know, like a lot of vloggers do. A lot of vloggers will tell you specifically what's going on, even though there's things to see. They won't. They don't allow the camera. Or the footage itself to show and become the story. But Capri has been able to do that. She's been able to capture that type of filming where the the footage itself tells the story. It doesn't need narration. Now, of course, vlogging like this because there's nothing else going on depends on the conversation. This is the conversation here. Without the conversation, if I had something to film, like when I'm going... Uh, to my parents' house, and I might film a little bit of it. I have a GoPro. I put the GoPro on and film as I go along. But the thing is, is, is that won't need narration because the story, the, the story itself, will be the driving. Uh, but here, this is a conversation, so we have to have a narration there because the narration is the conversation. Anyways, onward and upward. For the rest of the day. Well, today has been a kind of a mixed bag uh, day. It is about, uh, it's about a little after five o'clock in the morning on Wednesday, August nineteenth, and we're ending the vlog uh, for the eighteenth for Tuesday. Again, it's a 24-hour vlog, so it's a 24-hour day, so this is what happens. Uh, I'm still in the crash mode. I thought this would be a longer, uh, I'd be up longer at this particular point in time, but 
not happening. Uh, my eyes are already starting to force shut, so that's why I, I sh I, I'm doing this now. I still do have some gaming left to do. It should take about a half hour. I'm not. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do the bare minimal and move on. Uh, I made it to It's Our Life. They had a uh, <clears throat> an issue with the dog, the, uh, the Cavalier. Uh, apparently, well, I know with big dogs, chalk can be dangerous, but it's not as dangerous as it is for small dogs because with with uh, big dogs, uh, it's an issue of portion, uh, uh, concentration. So anything for a anything for a smaller dog, the concentration is going to be higher, even though it's the same amount because the dog it's, the dog itself is smaller, so it's going to be more of an issue. So they uh, 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 ended up having to rush the dog to, to the hospital, and this was the uh, the pet sitter, and it's, it's, things happen. <laughs> they're not they're, they're not blaming the pet sitter for this, but. Uh, this, that's nice of them to do that. And it, it, even if, if, even if it, you know, is, let's say, uh, let's take it, there were to say it's, it's not the sitter's fault. There are people who out there who, regardless of whether, it's, regardless of whether the sit, it's the sitter's fault or not, uh, they would have uh, been very angry and would have had issues with uh, the uh, pet sitter, uh, regardless of whether, whether it, regardless of whether it was simply an accident or uh, you know. Unintended, or something, you know, they would assume there would be something worth it. That this was negligence. That that, that you know. But the thing is, is that there seem to be pretty reasonable people, and it shows again that the, that they're doing a TikTok about uh, chronic ass, and it was uh, uh, at the time it was Capri was filming everything. Capri does a very good job uh, of. Uh, of uh, vlogging, she she has a sense of presence within the camera. She's she's got the if you want to call it the director's eye. Uh, she really can frame a shot. So she's she's got the cinema cinema photography in there. Well, that's that's amazing, and she's about eleven years ten eleven years old. That's amazing for that age to to really have that that sense that have that eye for uh, setting up a shot so that it you know. It's framed properly. That, this is the part of the whole thing. Is, is is are your shots framed properly? You know that's part of what we call the cinematog cinematography. When you're watching a movie or even a documentary, how is it framed? How do how does the composition in the frame come together? Uh, and before that, I was at. Um, Uh, Yowie Vlogs. Yowie Vlogs wasn't pretty much, didn't have much of anything in there. It was just the, uh, it, it was sort of like an average day hangout. Uh, not much of anything else, so. But, you know, that happens. There, there, there are days that are that are pretty much mundane. Um, it's not every day that things are eventful, and, and, and in my situation, my... my well, I got the uh, scooter working. Uh, there are still some issues, so I have to put it back up on the uh, hoist again uh, and do some of the repairs. So it will take me another two days to do that. But at least I got it working, and you know, uh, starting to deal with some of the uh, the the sort of the the finer points in terms of getting it working properly. And there's a lot to learn about scooters and different different type different types different brands. Uh, in terms of whether you want something as a toy, which is lighter and flimsier, or do you want something that you c you can use as a, a, a commuter uh, type of vehicle. And I want mine for commuting. Uh, and so I don't want something that's flimsy. This seems to be very good. It is heavy. <laughs> it's well built. But there are some issues I have to learn how to work the accelerator. You know, how do you get it going? How do you stop it? Uh, these are the different things, and there were some issues with the seat, so it looks like I'm going to have to replace the seat a little bit, but uh, that will be for a later time, so I'll have to fix up the seat for now as much as I can, and then wait till the new, seats come, the new seat comes in, and that will give me a better option 
to sort of uh, fix up the scooter. So that's a mixed bag of things. It's it it, won't, it was good, but it wasn't as good as it could have been. Uh, but not complaining. But still, the fatigue is there. So more there more there than I expected it to be. So I uh, uh, it's our life is as far as I got with the uh, with YouTube stroll. And that's it for the day. So I'll see you in a couple of hours for the next uh, the, for the next vlog for the beginning of the next vlog, which will be uh, the vlog for Wednesday, uh, uh, August nineteenth.